Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for Wednesday, August 15th. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid, okay? And this reading may not be for you, okay? If it feels like it's your reading, it's your reading. If it feels like it's not your reading, it's not your reading, okay? So we're going to get one of these, and then we're going to get one of the Angel Romance cards, and then I'm going to break into my tarot deck. <laughs> Consider your foundation. You are being asked to look at how committed you are to love. How committed are you to keeping a foundation strong or working on a foundation or working on a commitment? How committed are you? It's all about working together, okay? I just happen to notice there's a couple here, there's a couple here, there's a couple here, it's a, it, and there's a couple up here. It's about working as a team. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. You know, the card speaks for itself. Whatever you're feeling, you shouldn't be denying. They're real. Ace of Cups reversed. There could be a lack of love in this situation. There could, somebody could be emotionally detached, not offering love. Maybe somebody's not in love. Or not willing to give love for some reason. Withholding love. Somebody's withholding it, perhaps. <clears throat> Nine of Cups, you know, the Nine of Cups is, is wish fulfillment, in some aspects it is, but in some it's also pride and ego, there's a lot of, you know, it's almost like selfishness here. Ah, the Empress reverse, lack of growth, lack of creativity, lack of birth, I mean, lack of rebirth. Selfishness, there is some selfishness here. Somebody is selfishly withholding love, and that's why this, this foundation card came up. It's almost like it's a punishment. Oh, Queen of Cups reversed. Uh, yeah, somebody that, you know, has that victim mentality at this time. Anybody. Somebody that is very overly emotional and is unable to master their emotions and offer love at this time. Okay, there's a definitely I can't offer it. Look at the Ace of Cups right here and the eight, both reversed. I, I just, I, I can't, I can't offer. Right now, the love for my, myself is, is more prominent.
I know that I have it to offer, but I'm not going to give it to you. Keeping it. Now, there's a lot, so therefore, there's a lack of renewal. There's a lack of, there's a lack of rebirth. And it's all because somebody in this dynamic is unable to step outside of their, their fears, you know, and unable to allow themselves to open their heart. Somebody's closed off. Ooh, the chariot reverse. There's like a lack of willpower, a lack of discipline, and like I said, a lack of mastering the emotions. There's no doubt. Somebody lacks the mental strength to offer their heart for fear of rejection, fear of no growth, fear of it not going anywhere. A worried about their ego, worried about their pride. You know, pride. Um, I, just, I watched a song the other day. It was, it was 45 seconds by, I think it's Rihanna. And it is, uh, my pride, it just ain't up for sale. That's what it was. My pride ain't up for sale. Well, it's pride or love here. What, you know, that's what it is. It's your pride or it's love. What's it going to be? Therefore, I mean, there's a lack of forward movement because somebody doesn't have faith that there's going to be any growth in a situation. And the fear of rejection and getting their ego hurt with this rejection or not of an offer of love or whatever is getting in the way. But somebody wants to go back. We had this yesterday. Okay, somebody wants to go back. They, they're watching. They're hiding. They're watching. And they want to go back for what they left behind. They do. But unable to take action. Like I said, those fears are so great. <laughs> There's that indecision again. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. You know, this is weighing very, very heavily. Somebody is wanting to take the next step. They're wanting to get to the other side. Or they have to go back. They're right in the middle. It's like we are on a teeter-totter here. I want to go back for what I left. <coughs> Sorry. I had to clear that out. I do. I want to go back for what I left. But I can't, I'm afraid to take action. Thinking about it too much. Worried about falling, you know, worried about not not getting to where you need to be. I'm worried about that. But still holding on. Somebody is still holding on to something. Wanting to take the next step. but very indecisive and confused about whether they should give up or keep fighting. Could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Cancer, Taurus. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, could be anybody. Libra, there is a, there's a lack of faith in love. There is, there's a lack of faith in love and somebody is really afraid of giving their heart for fear of rejection. You know, somebody has to make a decision with this seven of cups this is a decision needs to be made there's somebody's living in illusion you know they have to make this complex decision based on you know what is love 
but they'll have to give up that victim mentality. You know, it takes two. Like I said with this card, it takes two. Nobody's a victim in the situation. It takes two to tango. I feel as though there's a there's somebody in this situation that wants to move forward. They want to. But they fear taking that next step because they might fall. They might, you know. Their pride might get hurt. But their wish fulfillment lies with this foundation, whatever it is. You know, this is a card of consequences, the Seven of Cups. There's consequences for the decision that you make. Not moving forward, not finding the discipline, not finding the willpower, not taking the lead will bring some consequences. So I feel as though somebody is really thinking about going back to something. They are. They're thinking about going back but afraid to take the next step. Therefore a door could be closing. Nines are closure. A door could be closing because somebody's not offering their love. You know, it's like I'm giving up. I'm giving up. The Nine of Wands reverses. I'm giving up. There is somebody in this dynamic that has many options, okay? There is there's one person that may be giving up and, and because you know, I have other options. I do have other options. This is options. Because there's no forward movement here, there's no victory and success. So I'm gonna give up. Oh, okay. The Queen of Pentacles reversed. Okay, so this is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody that is very, well, there's a lot of, there's jealousy here. <laughs> there's jealousy here. There's um, possessiveness. There's stubbornness. Um, Hard-headed. Somebody is really holding on to their own insecurities. You know what I mean? This is very insecure. Insecurities are holding somebody back. That's the energy of the card. Anybody can take on this energy. Three of Cups. There could be a reunion. There could be a reconciliation. There could be a something to celebrate that could lead to wish fulfillment if somebody would s offer. If somebody would be more playful. Page of Wands. There is an there's an exciting new opportunity. That could make somebody really happy. But somebody has to take action, and somebody isn't taking action with that chariot card reversed and the Empress reversed. You know, there's an there is ability for growth. But somebody has to somebody has to take action and they're not. So so no action, no growth. 
no reunion, no reconciliation. But there's an opportunity for a reconciliation or there's just an opportunity for happiness. It's time to let go of the conflict. Somebody is reluctant. They're reluctant to let their guard down. They're reluctant to stop. Playing, playing, you know, to commit. You know, wanting to keep their options open, wanting, li liking the competition, liking to play, the, liking the game. Somebody is afraid of commitment here. There could be a third party situation where another person has been involved. Maybe a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I feel as though there's been a lot of conflict, there's been a lot of power struggles, there's been a lot of back and forth, and now somebody is living with the consequences of their actions. But there is a new opportunity that is around the corner that is very, very exciting. It's funny, that's around the corner. I, I was saying it when I was looking at this card around the corner if somebody could take action there's an opportunity for a positive outcome here and wish fulfillment but there's no communication nobody's working on it nobody's taking any action there's no forward movement because nobody is taking any action For fear of, of being criticized, judged. Now we have the Knight of Swords. Somebody has some fears and, you know, I feel like they're in no hurry to get hurt again. I'm in no hurry. The fears of rejection and not being accepted are holding them back from making an offer or accepting an offer of love. Protection. So I feel like because somebody isn't, you know, expressing, somebody else has given up. Leaving, leaving somebody very defensive. Somebody in this dynamic has, has really become defensive of their own heart. And they're protecting themselves by not opening it back up again. But there is a new door opening. There's a new door opening. With the two of wands. You're at a crossroads. And things are about to change. There's a new opportunity that, or an invitation. Maybe to a party. A gathering. That perhaps allows you to. Step over that barrier. To see the light. To go down the new path. To not look back. So I feel as though there is a there's there's a a change on the horizon. Twos are about change. in which somebody may decide to suddenly make a move or move on, whichever one it is.
there is a new opportunity here. There's a new opportunity that could be coming in today, tomorrow, whenever. That uh, two days from now was today, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Or, you know, even today, whatever. I feel like there is a decision that is going to need to be made, whether to go through the new door, go down the new path, and open your heart or not. So I feel like it is a, it is a, it's a day of, of getting ready, preparing yourself to make us make a complex decision. Somebody is really guarded and hurt and I know that I'm repeating myself, but it's it's obvious. Somebody has been really, really hurt. And now they're rejecting offers of love or something like that. There's an opportunity for a new beginning. But somebody's going to have to go through that door. They're going to have to see the light. They're going to have to take steps to do so. Romantic feelings, your feelings are real and worth exploring. It's time to take that next step. Stop stalling. There's a lot of stalling here. Consider your foundation. You are being asked to look at, look at how committed you are to love. It's time to come out of hiding. Stop hiding behind that wall. Talk to you later.